What's up, YouTube followers? I'm here with E, the elite. Hey, hey now. What's going on? Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thanks for such, such, such short notice. Rapper, mm -hmm. hip-hop artist. Um, An entrepreneur, so that's, that's another thing. <laughs> we love the hats. It's never one hat. We don't want to define you. Say all, all right. those names. Get all those names out. And all right. Learn how to work them. Anything else? Oh, well, yeah. There's, okay, so there's hip-hop artist. Uh, I sing. Sometimes song write. Uh, ghost write. Um, I produce a little bit. Entrepreneurship. Uh, you know, just a, a sp motivational speaker. I'd be here all day. <laughs> no, that's cool. But, you know, that's, that's the artist. That's what this series is all about. The artist recreates the world. But the artist has many hats, many facets. And we stay in the moment, but we develop those facets. I like that. Right. So that's what's up. So what is art to you? How do you explain art? To me, I would say that art is any type of visual. Oh, I don't have to be. It doesn't have to be visual. It could be visual or auditory representation of emotions or feelings, and they make you feel the way that the artist is feeling. So it's kind of a, a mood change or something that can change your your thought pattern to make you think through visual auditory rep representation. So how does that work? And I'm skipping, mm -hmm. but I like where you took me. So how does that work with you as a songwriter? in terms of your intent to write a song that creates these emotions or inflections from your energy, the way you sing or the way you rap in hip hop? Well, I would say this. You took me there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would say this. Um, I believe that as human beings, we were very much more alike than people think that we are. Yes. So, um, you know, people might say, oh, we're so different. You know, people make enemies, people, you know, have conflicts with other people when really we are all very very much similar and when you start writing music and you start to put people in your shoes in your position they realize that they have way more common with you than they believe they did you know it opens the doors for people to see and understand that you guys have um, a lot of similarities in terms of your experiences in terms of what you had to go through coming up because I've written music before and people have come to me and they've been like bro you know that spoke to me or bro that was uh, I, that I've never I didn't know anyone else felt the same way and it's like, you know, and it happens often. So it's, I know that there's way more people out there who can, you know, understand each other. And if they just took the time to actually, you know, you know, express it, then they'd be able to find more similarities. And that's what art is to me. You know, I don't think we can explain it. Um, it's this thing that we give to other people, we give to the world. Right. And a lot of the artists have talked about, talked about, it's this burning. Right. It's this thing in us that, we just got to get it out. Right. And you can't always get it out in songwriting. Right. Sometimes you have to get it out and express it in another form. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I think I was being more logical. I was trying to be more, um, what's the word? I'm trying to, I'm trying to be philosophical. more philosophical. That too, you know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't like, you can't really define art. It's really like, I was. I agree with you. No. So I had to like, but I wanted to answer the question. So I had oh. <laughs> But see, this is the whole thing that I love about this series, this series, I, I say it had, it's like an open source for artists. That's what, when I talked to you before, because what you do is we come to this place to learn like, um, what is art? Right. It's really undefined, but culture tries to make us define it. Mm -hmm. So me and you stay in a box. See, cause if we say to you, um, the elite, you're a rapper, right? Just stay in. That's it. <laughs> Be comfortable. Yeah. Don't do nothing else. But just be a rapper. That's it. <laughs> then we know where you're at. Mm, and we can fine. gauge you. We can define you. We can keep you there. We can minimize you. But now, if you talk about, oh, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I'm going to be a rap hop. I'm going to rap hop. I'm going to be hip hop. I'm going to be a motivational. Hey, 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 fella. <laughs> That's a little bit. No. This is what we're trying to like affirm everybody. It's okay to have those many hats. But work them out. Right. Develop them, um, embrace them, have confidence in where you are. Mm. So what is art to Newark, how you see it, hmm. to the city of Newark, wow. today so, in 2015? There are so Now this is a more complex question. That's what there. I see. <laughs> that's why I like to do it like right in the interview so yeah. I can get those looks the wheel, from the yeah. artists. The like they're like, too. yeah, right, wheels turn. Ooh, put it out there, throw it out there. You good? Now, I know that everybody, now I did say this maybe 30 seconds ago about how everyone has so many similarities, so I suppose that my response is probably a similar response that others may give. Um, no. But at the same time. Because <laughs> you're unique. Oh, thank you. But at the same time, 
Um, there are so many different examples, so many different, you know, let me just put it this way. I would say that art to some people would be considered, well, in Newark, mm-hmm. there's a lot of paintings. We have a lot of paint, a lot of painting on the walls. We have a lot of graffiti. And don't be, a, don't be bashful. Hit him. Oh, no, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of different types of visual, you know, art. Like paint. I see a lot of that, especially in the city, and I love it. It's beautiful. It makes the city really pop, you know, and um, that's one of my favorite. Um, th- you know, actually, there's the four pillars of hip hop. If you're familiar with the old school boom bap, there's, uh, you know, there's the graffiti, there's break dancing, there's the uh, the actual MCing and DJing. And being a person who's a fan of 90s hip hop, I love the representation of visual aesthetics. You know, so graffiti, I love. I love that. I love seeing paintings. I love seeing pictures. And that's something that a lot of people from Newark, who even don't understand Newark as a whole, they get as a, as, a, as a slap in the face when they first get here. You know what I'm saying? So you may be in some suburban area, but when you come out of Newark, you see all this, this paint, all this, this beautiful visual art. And that's something that even, you don't have to be a native to, to notice or recognize. So I suppose that's probably more of a broader um, definition. But in terms of the art culture, and I think music is a huge art culture here in, in Newark, especially... I'm an artist, so, you know. What do you, um, where do you see yourself in two years or five years? Okay. What do you want to do? I mean, what direction do you want to do? Okay. Um, As of 2015. Okay. What are some of those things going on in your head? Hmm. Well, I'm actually in the process of planning a tour. Um, I really, to be perfectly honest with you, I think that every millionaire has at least six hustles. A hustle for every figure. I like that. I like <laughs> um, that. I like that. That's I, I personally have eight. So I'm trying to, that's, that's where I'm looking at. I'm so that means you can be a multi-millionaire. I'm, work, hey, I'm working on it. I think I'll, I'll, know, I'll start to have more, like, more, I'll start to feel it more when I hit two million. That's what's so up. People say, I want to be a millionaire. I don't want to be a millionaire. I want to be a multi-millionaire. I don't want to like just that have, language. That's good language. I appreciate that. I, just I think this is the, you're the first artist that talked about being a millionaire or on the program. Well, so. you got you have to speak into existence. You know what I'm saying? You have to actually like you know believe it. If you don't believe it, you know then no one else is. How could you sell something that you can't even you wouldn't even buy yourself? You get it? It's just that's just how I feel about a lot of things. You know, I have to express it. I have to tell myself that I'm great every day. I have to tell myself that I have it what it takes. Otherwise, I wouldn't wake up in the morning. That's good language. That's great language. So, what would you tell other artists in terms of your experiences with artists? Mm-hmm. Uh, the do's or don'ts, or what do we need to do uh, better well, I'm glad you as that artists? Question. That's a very good question. That actually, I got a good one. I got that a was a good one. Like. I really like that question. Um, there's two main things I thought about when you said that. One, because... Tell them, tell them. All right. Get them in the face. Like. <laughs> one thing you have to make sure that you do, especially, um, and this is something I, I'm, I'm, I don't have a problem with it, but I know that later on in the line, it's going to be more difficult to, you know, to, to uh, maintain. Staying humble and being modest. You know, when you get to a certain point, you start meeting certain people and people will gas your head up. You know, you start meeting celebrities and they start telling you, oh, dude, you're, the, you're great. You're awesome. There's this and the fourth. You know, and you start believing that. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with believing that you're great. There's nothing wrong with being great. You, you know, you're great. You are. You know, but make sure that you, you keep it modest. You know, there's only but so much of yourself that you should really, really be into. Everyone has their flaws. Everybody makes mistakes. You're not perfect. That. You're not that's a good god. Definition. You know what I'm saying? So just you have to really make sure that you're on, you know, that you're that you're modest. That's the most important thing. And I'm, I like to call it balanced to just interject. Uninvited said that same thing. He said, stay humble. Mm. I call it balance. I, I, I look more in terms of the, the um, African spiritual sciences, that balance that you have. So nothing really changes, although the culture may see you a different way right. and lift you up and say you're this and say you are that. But intricately, you know yourself and you continue to apply the same spiritual principles like you talk about that you apply that you applied in the past to get you to a certain to this point so you don't change right. that person me and you don't change mm-hmm. we're on time this is the artist that was on time today we're on time we treat people a certain way we speak a certain way about our affirmations right you know and we don't like you say we don't buy into all the hype Right. We don't buy in because we got more money or whatever. And um, the scripture talks about pride becomes pride becomes comes before fall. And that's the whole notion that if when that pride goes up mm-hmm. and you're better and you're, it's your name and this, your chest sticks out, <laughs> that's right before 
you start coming down. I haven't heard that quote in a while. Yeah. I like well, that. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's a Bible verse. I don't usually quote scripture, but some scripture is in, it's excellent. Oh, yeah. It's for, applicable for yeah, any situation, yeah, yeah, for any yeah. time period. It yeah. always works. Yeah. 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 So. Well, also, I was going to say that I think um, is additional that you have to definitely mention um, in terms of what other artists should do is, um, in, in, in addition to being humble, I feel like artists should also give back to the community. That is the other thing. I think they're tied for first place. No, I'm sorry. This is more important. This is definitely more important. Artists should always give back to the community, and they should especially try to help out the youth. That's one of the the biggest things, because you never know who you may be mentoring. Maybe mentoring the next Kanye West, or okay. you know, even better. I agree with that. Um, I think there is something I like to add to that mm -hmm. because I do I, I do this series and I talk to a lot of pe people, and I think we should give back to the city. Mm -hmm. But we also need to create a stronger uh, arm of ad advocacy for the arts. Mm -hmm. We have to get more money. We have yeah. to get more money for the arts, for the artists at whatever level, education, um, Generation X, Generation Y. And I say that because even if we're coming back and we're giving back, there's so much more money we need to be getting. We don't have no land. There's artists in the city. We don't have land. I mean, we have some places, you know, but I'm saying we don't have land. We don't have a place to go. Right. And I know about there's something going to be built in the future. But I'm saying, come on, man, all, the, all this art in Newark. And I had to add that because I think we, we don't often see the entire picture. You know, and I don't have a problem with what you said, but the entire picture is that we have to go after more money. Sure. And we have to make sure that that money trickles down to the local artists because a lot of time it trickles down and it stops. Mm -hmm. I'm stagnant. It's and, important. Yeah. We, we don't have that conversation. And I, I keep referring to this. I'm not the only one doing this, but we have to talk more. Um, we have to come together as groups, performing, perform uh, visual arts and uh, the performing artists and um, that's the, and uh, the painters and uh, the musicians and um, the spoken word and the books. We have to talk. We have to communicate. You know, also, I think um, this is a really important thing as well. I think that there needs to be like a union for artists. Because if you think about it, so a lot of times people want to get in trouble. Man. Hey, look, no, nah, y'all need to hear it. There needs to be a union for artists. And I say this because people think they can get away with having artists perform for free all the daggone time. It's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I mean, some people will do it because, you know, I mean, enjoy, you know, performing. And I don't mind it. I'll do it every once in a while, depending on who, you know, what it is. But, you know, you can't expect artists to always perform for free all the time. You see, you see, you're getting passionate, and now you're getting in the camera. Oh, yeah, and I have yeah. To tell you, you need to know, like, it's, you know, like, you need to start paying your artists. When they come out, they're spending $100 on production, studio time, you know, they with the time and money, all this stuff, for you to tell them they got to bring on this equipment. No, they, you pay your artists, all of them, all the time. I don't want to hear, they're just as important as your, as your speakers and your keynotes and your address. They're just as important. But pay see, <laughs> this ties into what I'm talking about, how we have to advocate for more money. Because, see, it's not fair for us mm -hmm. unless we're getting the proper share of funding uh, from a federal level, from right. a state level. And I don't care who, what, who says whatever in terms of all the art you see. We need to have more art. We need to have more art funding. And we need to have more art funding in whatever ways to get into the hand of the local artists. Not just the known, not just the people that are connected, but the people who are not known. Right. And that's what this that's one 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 thing this series is talking about, dealing with the narrative of the artists on the ground. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna do it? How are we gonna really make this change? Hmm. Um, any any other insights? Because I see you you on how you're ready to go. No, 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 no however, no. <laughs> whatever you're thinking about. Um well in terms of uh, you want me to address what you were saying about the uh... whatever. I mean, because oh, well, you started it. Well, that brings Come me back on. to the union. I think, I think the simplest thing, see, the, the word union has the base, you know, of unity. I think that's important. Unity is important. You know, you can do so many things with the group. Human beings as a whole, psychologically, we are social beings. We cannot survive without human interaction. Um, that's one of the most important things that exists. You ever saw Castaway? Oh, yeah. You know, with, you know first he's going crazy, he's talking to a volleyball. You know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> human human beings need social interaction. That's how we survive. Like in the wild, we would never survive by ourselves. We're not fighting a wolf or a bear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We'd die. We're, we're social creatures. We need to be in groups. But I have to say, mm -hmm. we, but we, but there's there's a um, 
this culture that we have is is it's not real. Hmm. I mean, the culture that we live in doesn't address our, our, our issues. True. And we have to say that. I mean, as an artist, I know we're happy to be in America, but what I'm saying is that look at look at our art. Most hmm. of our art is not does not deal with any of the social issues. True. Our, our art is happy. I mean, our art is nice. Is your is your art a social? No, I don't know if I should go. No, well, no, can, no, no, no. Is is your art? Uh, um, does it sh- deal with the social issues, the social uh, fights, our, our, what we what we deal with as, no. as black men, as men of color? Oh, definitely. Okay. Definitely, because I, I like to mix it up, though. I don't. I see. I know a lot of times I listen to the radio, and I shouldn't. And the radio poisons me. Yeah. It's like toxic. But I listen I, to it anyway because I agree. I'm young. I agree with you. <laughs> That's what we do. We listen to the radio. You know, so, um, but I do find my own, you know, other music that I really, really enjoy. For example, J. Cole's a beast. Kendra Lamar is a beast. Yeah, I heard you know, those, these, I heard these two are like freaking amazing. And wordplay wise, you know, just wow. Just, it's amazing. And they're not the only ones. I'm just saying them because those are the most popular that people yeah, can you know, no, relate to. Um, but I like to, I'm the kind of person where I, I mix things up. You know, I don't drink, I don't smoke, but I think I like to incorporate, um, you know, partying because partying is fun. You have to get out. Like I said, we're social beings. I agree. Um, I think it's important to make sure that you, you know, you do have a good time. You don't go crazy and become depressed. Um, so give me a title. What's, what's, oh, give me okay. something. Give me something that All you right. did that you was... I have my project coming out. It's called Evolution. That's my newest album that I'm getting ready to drop okay. at the end of the year. Um, and Evolution is basically about um, the process by which a boy becomes a man or a child becomes an adult. Okay. So I, and I'll make it more, you know, relative for everyone else. Um, and a lot of the different songs in there um, have... Some motivational, you know, I'm a speaker as well, so I have That's a lot of motivational sure. titles. Something that, you know, get up, you know, you got this, you know, some, some along those lines. Um, I have some party music, so it's like, you know, I have some sexual music. Because, right. you know, I mean, I'm 21 now. I just I'm 21, so, you know, whatever. Sex is important. How do you think you got here? You know, let's get real. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How do you think you got you here? Yeah, like, come on. Let's, right. let's be real. Let's be real. No, no, I have no problem with that. Uh-huh. And I like, I like your mix. But I'm saying this because I think as a whole... Mm-hmm. As artists, we do miss that piece. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm saying that um, when I talked to Dom, we, she talked about, we, she, she made it clear that every artist is not going to deal with social issues, and that's okay. Mm-hmm. But we need to have some artists that do focus on social issues more, right? <laughs> you got to have the balance. There what are you go. talking about? There you, go. you know, like, it's, it's really important. I, don't, I would never release a project that didn't address some social norms, ever. Like, I, I don't do that. Like, every, I have some. Some, you know, some club bangers, which we call the radio singles. But those are just to draw people into the room. But that's cool. And that's, and, and, and that's smart marketing. Mm-hmm. So where can they find you? I mean, if you have, unless you have any more gems to drop oh, off. Oh, man. Uh, you know what? I, I do this kind of thing on my, like, on my social media as well. So it's like, if you want more gems, just like follow me on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> I that's mean, because, right. you know. Under <laughs> E the Elite. E the Elite. You want to spell it for them? Yes, I will. Uh-huh. Um, for Instagram, it's E the Elite. That's E T H E. E L I T E. Um, on Twitter, it's Iman Rahim One. I'm so I need to change all of my names because it's so crazy. So it's I M A N R A H I M One. And on right. Facebook, um, my my like page is L S L, which is my business, L S L Entertainment. Yeah, let's go. L S L Music I M O. Especially for your editors to gotta do this under I your know, own. Man. It's you so gotta make that. I gotta, I was just, I was like, oh, we're not doing your YouTube, but I know I would have to have it like scroll down the screen in words, like subtitles. Because I was, I was at an interview two days ago, as a matter of fact, and the same oh, thing happened. He was like, geez, no. you're, you're, you know, your media is so wordy. I was like, you know, it is. I have to really, your editor's headache, oh nightmare. They were like, God, I mean, like got, so many acronyms, <laughs> you know. How many show for social platforms he got? Oh my God. Seven and right. all of a different. Oh, different. All of different. He's like, we're not going to. You know, like I met this really cool guy. His name is Iman. Well, I met this really cool guy. His name is E. The Elite. That's yeah, funny. I was the same dude. <laughs> oh, That's man. good. Well, right. thanks for coming in. Thanks, thanks for having me. Had a great by. conversation. Um, yeah, man. You you started. I told Shoot, you, man. You anytime you're gonna do this again, this is cool. Like, Follow him. Support him. Um, you you have a date for the project, or you don't know? Um, it's gonna be right. 2016. Is that safe? Safe. I want to. It's gonna be out before, like, around before the end of January. Yeah, because so. I know. Yeah. I know about those dates. Oh, I know, right? And it's supposed to be, I, I wanted to drop it this month, but I'm like, nah. We go for it. Time is just going by so fast. Yeah, I know. That threw me off. I was like, dang, it's November already. I said, y'all not getting it until like January. <laughs> it's like, nice. December, late January, you know. All right, we look forward to it, man. All right, I 
Keep the work coming. Peace, 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 peace. All right, one love.